Hello and welcome to the first problem in the 2021 Junior Maths Challenge, which is called the Subtraction Staircase. So at the beginning of the problem, we're introduced to a four-step subtraction staircase. I wonder why it's called four-step. Perhaps because it's got four rows. Or maybe because it's got four columns. Let's see. So it's clearly going to involve subtraction. Let's read it carefully. So they're asking us to look at the light grey cells. Notice they've shaded some of these cells differently. So they're asking us to focus on these light grey. And we may notice that negative 3 subtract negative 2. Well, that's equal to negative 3 plus positive 2 is negative 1. So that's how we're getting our numbers. So where does this negative 11 comes from? It comes from negative 7 take away 4 gives us negative 11. We're also given a new word, the target number, and the target number is the bottom right square. So in this case, the target number is 17. That's the target number. All right, before we proceed with the problem, we really should check that we can generate their subtraction staircase from the example. So. Here is the uh, answer that was provided in the example. There's its target number. Remember, that's called the target number. And so the idea is, can we start with the first column? Can we generate all these numbers? And will we come up with the same target number? Let's try it carefully. Negative 3, subtract negative 2. Well, that's actually negative 3 plus 2. So that is negative 1. 2, negative 2 take away 5 is negative 7. 5 take away 1 is 4. Negative 1 take away, or we have to be careful here, negative 1 take away negative 7 is negative 1 plus 7. And that's actually positive 6. Negative 7 take away 4 is negative 11. And one more. 6 subtract negative 11, well that's 6 plus 11, and that's where we got our 17 from. So we do need some fluency working with negative number subtraction to get the target number correct. Part A offers us a four-step subtraction staircase, and it asks us to find the target number. So really it's asking, what is this number? So that's the answer, just to get that number. Now, I'm not going to do that problem for you, but just to make sure you're doing these correctly, I'm going to give you another problem and see if you can come up with the right answer. So here's a different one. What is the target number for this subtraction staircase? Maybe pause the video and have a go. Did you get this answer? So target number of 7. Let's just check quickly. Negative 1 take away 3 is negative 4. 3 subtract 4 is negative 1. 4 subtract negative 5. Careful, that becomes 4. Plus 5 becomes 9. Negative 4 take away negative 1 becomes negative 4 plus 1, which gives us negative 3. This becomes negative 10. Again, careful with this one. Negative 3 subtract negative 10. That is equal to negative 3 plus 10, giving us the final answer of 7. Did you get a 7? If you did, you're ready to do J part, what, J1 part A. Now let's look at J1 part B, and we notice we suddenly have a bigger staircase. This one's five steps. Ah, ooh, that's interesting. They haven't given us the last number. They've actually given us the target number. So that's a little bit of a challenge. We're probably going to have to work backwards from this number. How about we start from this side and do what we can do and then see where it goes. So I'm going to let you puzzle your way through that one. Now in part C, we work with a smaller staircase. This one's only three step, but the problem is different. We actually have three numbers now to work with, negative 2, 8, and 11. So we could put them anywhere we want. For example, we could put them here. 
and we're going to keep going and we're going to get a target number. But here's our challenge. We want to find the lowest possible target number. So as I'm sure you've worked out by now, if we put these in different orders, we'll get different target numbers. You need to find the lowest target number. How are we going to do that? One approach would be what I call brute force. Okay, so we have three numbers to play with, negative 2, 8 and 11. Convince yourself there are six combinations. We could try all six and see what we get as the lowest target number. Or we might want to possibly try using some algebra. So we could actually start out like this. We could call these things A, B, C and have a think about what the final answer is and see if that informs us the best way to assign these numbers. Either method will work. You might even come up with another method. I'm going to leave you to work out part D on your own. It will require some thinking and explanation and exploration. Do note that you should check your solution really carefully that it is a valid subtraction staircase. Uh, the first time I did it, I managed to come up with the wrong one. I convinced myself it worked, but it actually didn't work. So check carefully that you've got a valid staircase. Do pay attention to the marking criteria. Um, you're going to want to copy your staircases into your workbook. Uh, notice that for the last one, you must have some type of explanation. And for the others, there is a requirement to show a little bit of working out. You don't write an essay, but a small amount of working out. You will have received a workbook to write up your solutions. Please work out your solutions first on separate paper. Once you're happy you've got a solution, then copy it into the book. So don't give us a scribbly book. It's really hard to mark. So a nice, clear, neat solution. After you've worked out the answer, write it in the book and you'll note the due date which is Friday the 12th of March. Have lots of fun, you can always come to the Math Club if you would like a little bit of support or visit the Google Classroom.